This is the NFL, and we are live from beautiful State of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina. The Carolina Panthers are warming up their last week's kill on their sidelines barbecue pits as part of their pregame ritual. My pregame ritual is a lot different, Grim. It usually involves filling out accident reports and telling the paramedics what I may have ingested in the last 24 hours that could have caused projectile vomiting and projectile diarrhea while flying down the staircase or an elevator shaft, depending on the stadium. That's a pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Cincinnati Bengals battle, the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the NFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you asked for, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hey. with the punishing hit. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nice. And coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. <laughs> Second down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down, and, and the defense jumps off sides trying to mutilate the... If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, and he laterals at the last second. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill.
And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth. What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. Time to see if this is an elite kicker. Can he kick through a cement wall? Yeah, probably not, Bricks. Then he's not elite. Now that's what's so frustrating about kickers. They're all head cases. All that work and they come up empty. That sucks. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. He had it for a second there. Third down and the punter is warming up. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can... Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh, oh he just got crushed. Second down and nine. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. needs a miracle. And the ball razors on the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means he can wrap up the other half and save it for later. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggler. And... You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck?
First and four. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And uh, normally I don't advocate for changing the station, but for the sake of your eternal soul, I'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance. Uh, Grim? The, uh, the crowd started chanting. Why, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes they did. We're, we're going to go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. So big that oh, with a brutal hit. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Second and three. Third down and three. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Night. And that's why they call it the money shot. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my First and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak! He's unstoppable! Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a touchdown and look how happy that little demon is after that score Ooh, that means he won't drag any souls into the pit of hell for at least another three hours demons are so moody <laughs> well a little chip shot here extra point but this guy could blow it The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, great 
tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third down and six. has to do a better job. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. turned on his jets. Hey, Gr you know, Bricks, I can't believe the defense didn't stop the run. Maybe they just wanted more shots at the QB. Well, yeah, got a point there. And it's first and ten. way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten and an eight-yard gain on that one like when Bricks's mom decided to move back in with us second down and two down and three the kicker should make this but you know how it goes in this league and it's two minutes left in the half I can't wait to the halftime show Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. Epic fail by the offense. The defense gets the ball back. And it's first and ten. Running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. He picks up a two. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Third down and six. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good pow. And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> the offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Brad, can I kill him? Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when he 
receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Well, thank you. I do my part. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of school. Well, that's a real buzzkill. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a striptease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Team last week, I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, and, oh that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for some. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. Touchdown! First and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. Yeah! And it's first and ten. lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And 
and it's first and ten. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and Zafter, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I guess it worked for her. And it's first and ten. They call a work speed dirty prick. He's so fast he watches 60 minutes and 60 seconds. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Eight. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. And that's what you call a killer one-hitter, folks. I did a killer one-hitter once, and an ungrateful undead riot fest. I woke up with three guys gnawing on my kneecap. Oh, with the brain scrambler. The offense is down to their last surviving lineman. He's all alone out there, and when he dies, they'll have to forfeit. Uh, I know what it's like to be alone. I went to group therapy once to deal with loneliness, but no one else showed up. First and eight to go. Hey, you see 
see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and nine. Oh, and the defense jumps off. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? Second down and five. Ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third and four. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, it appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I almost wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. When you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. Third down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. down and never going to happen. He could go all the way. Back in 2017, they started implementing extreme alien betting. You can see how well it all worked out. And it was just trying to make America great again, Grim. No, that's fake news. It's been proven. Well, a little ch extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep the fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, which First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. <laughs> Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. QB is saying his prayers. Hot one, hot two. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. With the brain scrambler. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this? 80s wrestling? And that'll be second down and four. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third and four. He caught it, and nothing was going to 
to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just kidneys. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Second down and more than the QB would like. He picks up nine yards on that catch. Third and two. Looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away from And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and six. Third down and nine. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Third down and forever. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First down and one. Second down and five. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. You know, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole! And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. You know, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole! Hey, asshole, up here! Talking to you! The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. They run it on fourth down and pick it up. Ho ho! That's four new downs and some big balls. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. Not going down. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls... Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. He's running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. How do you miss a bomb kill right in someone's face? This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. Second down and ten. He really wants to. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. And that'll bring up third and one. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second down, and, and that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them. Time out. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really as simple.
simple game when it comes down to it. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. The Panzers roll over the opposition and chuck up a win. Man, they tend to be like Poland at 39. It was total and complete and utter domination. And speaking of domination, look at the stilettos on that cheerleader. Oh, I'd let her walk on my back. I'll tell you what, I'll pay her to do a river dance on your back with golf shoes. And let's go to the MVP to hear him let loose with some verbal diarrhea about just how special he is. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...